Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. Um, you can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. You can find information about the actuarial program at Illinois State University that I direct at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. And if you would like to make a tax deductible donation to help our students at Illinois State University, Actuarial program, um, go to smarturl.it forward slash ISU actuary donate. Here's the problem for today. It contains material applicable to exam MLC, but it is actually from Casualty Actuarial Society exam S, and I will start now a channel for exam S as well, although exam S is going away next year, but will continue in the appropriate um, exam uh, Modern Actuarial Statistics 1. And of course, exam MLC is going away next year. It will mostly become long-term actuarial mathematics and will evolve the channel for MLC into a channel for lo uh, long-term actuarial mathematics. The material is on mark of processes, so it's applicable to both exams. You are given the following information. A firm has modeled the annual movement of its workers using a Markov chain with the following three states. State 0 is fully employed, state 1 temporarily disabled, and state 2 retired. The associated transition matrix, so matrix of transition probabilities, and remember that each row corresponds to the current states, states 0, 1, and 2, and the column corresponds to states after one year. So 0.7 is the probability of transition from state 0 to state 0. Uh, 0.1 is the probability of transition from state 0 to state 1. And 0.2 is the probability of transition from state 0 to state 2. And similarly, 0.4 is probability of transition from state 1 to state 0. Um, 0.3 is the probability of transition from state 1 to state 1. And 0.3, the last entry in the second row and third column, is the probability of transition from state 1 to state 2. And finally, the last row has uh, probabilities of transition from state 2 to states 0, 1, and 2, respectively. And you can see that a person who uh, becomes retired doesn't leave that state anymore. So that state is absorbing, because the probability of transition from being retired to fully employed, that's zero, the first entry in the third row, first column, and the probability of transition from uh, state two being retired to state one being temporarily disabled is also zero, that's the second uh, row, um, entry in the third row. And finally, one is the probability of remaining retired when the person is retired. Tom is fully employed uh, with the firm this year. Calculate the probability that Tom will be fully employed in two years. And you have five answer choices in the style of Casualty Actual Society. They're not specific numbers, but ranges of numbers, which probably makes uh, guessing uh, more difficult, although the result is also that minor arithmetic mistakes do not cost you as much, so it's a pretty good design. So the current state vector for this worker is 1, 0, 0, because he is fully employed. So he is in state 0, or being fully employed with probability 1, and in other states with probability 0. After one year, the state vector um, is given by the um, product of this current state vector times the transition matrix which, because it's 1, 0, 0, that's just the first um, row of the matrix, because you multiply the two by multiplying the row 1, 0, 0 by the first column, then by the second column, then by the third column to get the three entries. And of course, because there are zeros in second and third position, they are multiplied by anything in the um, the zero, which is by, by, by things in the uh, th uh, second and third column, uh, row, I'm sorry, second and third row. Um, so, for example, 0.7, the first entry is obtained by multiplying 1 times 0.7 plus 0 times 0 0.4 plus 0 times 0. 
then point one is obtained by multiplying the row vector by the second column, so one times point one plus zero times point three plus zero times zero, and then point two, the last entry, is obtained by multiplying uh, one times point two plus zero times point three plus zero times one, and of course. Again, effectively, the answer is just the first row of the matrix. You don't really have to do any work in terms of calculations. You can see this immediately. Then the probability that Tim will be fully employed after two years is the first entry of the state vector at the end of two years obtained by multiplication of the state vector after one year times the transition matrix. But we're only interested in the probability that he will be fully employed, so it's only the first entry. So we're only interested in the result of multiplication of the row vector by the first column, because it's the first of the three states. State zero, but it's the first of the three. And so the result is 0.7 times 0.7 plus 0.1 times 0.4 plus 0.2 times 0, or 0.49 plus 0.04, and that equals 0.53, and that's answer B. Please remember this is copyrighted material and also that problems from past Casualty Actual Society uh, belong to the Casualty Actual Society and are reproduced with permission. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.